Are we live? We're live. Or are we live? We're live. Are we alive? And we're not driving this time, so. We are not. We're pulled over. But we like, just... like the check in says, well, we're not quite at the 200 South UCLA Medical Plaza. We just left we just UCLA left. Medical Plaza where we yes. saw Dr. Jay Lee, which is Justin's cardiothoracic surgeon. Yes, and now we're coming to you live from the beautiful campus of UCLA University yes. here in West, over. Westwood, California. Look, I'm not driving. From the car. And yeah, we just left the office. We're right around the corner here. And mm -hmm. it is actually a beautiful, wonderful day here in the school. Kids walking around from the classes and they're... People are not watching for that. I know. It's a little, you know, build up. Yeah. A little anticipation here stuff. They want to know what's going on. Do they? Yeah. You want to know what's going on? You want to know the results of his uh, PET scan after chemo round two? Do you want to know? I don't think they want to know. Uh, what? I know. No one cares. Yeah. All right. People want to know. I think what people want to know is about UCLA and about the campus and this beautiful 80 degree afternoon on a Thursday. No. And, okay. We've, we've, people are watching now. We've stalled okay, enough. Okay, we've, we've stalled long enough. We've drawn the attention. We'll go for a commercial break. We'll be right back, Ryan Seacrest, with the result. Um, and the results are... And results. Da, 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 da. And that's like a reality <laughs> show. I save money on Geico. Okay, reality let's show. go. <laughs> All right. Shell's like, no. Yeah. All right, so. So we, well, dun, dun, hold on. Real, real fast, before you dun da da dun. Oh my God. Now that we've got viewers here. Uh, we just left the office of Dr. Jay Lee, who is our cardiothoracic surgeon, part mm -hmm. of our team here. We have an oncologist as well, and we've got uh, <laughs> we've got Dr. Jay Lee, who is our who is our savant. Uh, you can look him up. He's a savant doctor, one of the best in the world at what he does, mm -hmm. which is cardiothoracic surgery. Uh, and he he referred us to the oncologist, and then gave us the. Uh, the protocol of doing the, the, the four rounds of chemo. So we did uh, the first two rounds of chemo so far. Um, and as of right now, we are in the break of rounds two, between rounds two and three. And protocol says that we're going back this coming week for uh, round three. And so what we did was on Monday, we went and did a PET, can, PET scan and CAT scan with dye and contrast where they had to inject me with some radioactive sugar crystals and um, that would tell you where hot spots right, are I'm just going to tell them because you, and, you, you, they on. don't care about all this they stuff. They need to know. No, they don't. Anyway, the scans gave us the pictures. <laughs> Dr. Lee this morning gave us the numbers and showed us the scan and let us take a photo of what the tumor looked like before we started versus Monday's photo. And Mary Lou has a picture right now and she's right. about to show you the big reveal uh, and she has circled it, so you can kind of tell it's up because right. the other big part Tumor is, size is my heart. On oh, it's at backwards, but on May twenty sixth, twenty seventeen, that's how big the tumor was. Also that's how, his heart, so it's bright. like connected. Notice and how you can bright. see how bright it is from the that's, the that's radioactive the, sugars. Yeah, it's lighting up the cancer marker. So when you, so, when you, see, when you see bright, bright as cancer. That was the before picture. Now, now, here's the after two weeks of chemo. Two sessions of chemo. See, right there. So, to get in perspective, here now is the before. And look how much it shrank. Shrunk? Shrunk. Shrink? Shrinking. Shrinkage. Honey, I shrunk the tumor. Honey, I shrunk the tumor. <laughs> So this is how much his chemotherapy treatments are working. Yeah. And um, yeah. even though we didn't want to do chemotherapy, we wanted to do more uh, natural alternative medicines. But since, as you can see, it's connected to his heart. Touching it. Yeah. Touching it. Um, they don't know if it's actually connected yet until they go in and take it out. Yeah. But um, that's why we had to go in immediately, like literally within hours and days of finding out the results he was in the hospital getting chemo yeah so it's been two aggressive rounds of chemo plus and about six weeks of plus yeah six weeks of, of cancer high, uh, high dosages of daily 
uh, cannabis, Rick Simpson oil. Um, I've lived with a huge stoner for the last six weeks. Yeah, prayer and meditation and chanting. Mm -hmm. uh, and everyone else's energy has been working all together because the results are what they wanted to see mm -hmm. or the, the protocol of everything they were hoping for uh, looks like like exactly what they were hoping to see as far as the numbers go as far as uh, how things are moving Can I um, they can't see my eyes well it's bright out here man I got the sensitive eyes um, so we're able to uh, see the progress is what they want to see so dr. Lee says uh, he does want two more full rounds of chemo I was hoping to get out of it two rounds early um, but they really need to shrink it as much as they can and so we're gonna do two more rounds like the initial uh, plan was to do which will have us doing our next round on July 11th I believe is the date and then on July 20th I will meet up with Dr. Lee for a follow-up and they Probably said like that a couple of weeks later you'll have your open chest surgery yeah they, they, they need usually about as long as I'm strong from the chemo and I'm holding up well from it, two to three weeks uh, from the last day of the uh, fourth round of chemo mm -hmm. um, to just heal well, up enough and get the blood cell counts up enough to do the surgery, mm -hmm. which is good because I, I had heard from someone else that it was, they were really, re really weak, lost a lot of weight, mm -hmm. and they made them wait six weeks for his surgery. So but Justin's I, been strong. Yeah. He has been eating like a 14-year-old boy. Yeah. And thanks to everybody on the meal train who have been bringing meals over. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's been very helpful to keep us mm -hmm. nice and strong. Though yeah, we've been quite lonely the last couple of weeks. Yeah, we haven't. People had as haven't many. haven't been signing up. We yeah. have someone coming over today though. That's true. We haven't had as many lately. Although I did, I did need a little bit of. We're not trending of, anymore. We're not trending. Trump took over our. Trump trended our news. us. Comey took over. Um, I, I did I did need a few days to myself, especially in the hospital, though. It was, mm -hmm. Some alone time was really necessary because it's been so overwhelming lately. But, so, again, um, for those that just joined us. For those just joining. Here is the before. Here's the tumor. Here's his heart. Ooh, and then here is the shrinkage of the tumor. So you can see there's a big difference. That's that's from Monday. Are you okay? Mm -mm. No? So, this is this is chemo, by the way. Justin's feeling very nauseous. Sometimes, out of completely nowhere, you just get totally not. You. <laughs> you get totally not. Sorry. You get totally nauseous out of nowhere, and you feel mm -hmm. like you're gonna vomit. And sometimes you do, I guess, and sometimes you don't. But right now, Mary, you can continue talking. I'm just gonna okay. breathe. All right. Do you wanna roll down the window? What a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. Hey guys, this is uh, real. We don't we don't cut a commercial break just just because I might throw up on camera, do we? Uh, yeah, so um, so yeah, that's good news. We that's good news. But this is what chemo everybody. is. <laughs> chemo helps uh, with tumors, but it also makes you want to puke sometimes, and it mm -hmm. makes your head mm -hmm. look bald, and it does other things. Like your eyes start to... Okay, I think it's passing, by the way. Uh, oh, excuse me. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, I think we're through it. Little Little watery eyes, no big deal. Um, and it happens. It's all good. Um, what else? I'm gonna go home mm -hmm. uh, and chill. You have your first have, men's do? cancer support um, group today. I do have a, at Weespark. I do. I do. Mm -hmm. Cancer support group today at 1:30. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty much all the news we got for you guys. We're gonna head on home, get back to the valley. Mm -hmm. uh, again, the report from Dr. J. Lee is everything looks good. They are very mm -hmm. happy with the way everything is. Uh, we are we are scheduled to continue f the four rounds of chemo as planned and then the surgery will be a couple weeks after that meaning we'll be doing surgery by well it'll probably be early August this looks like surgery and, and hopefully then you'll be ready enough in six in to eight weeks six to weeks six to eight weeks recovery yeah. but hopefully you'll be able to go to Chicago Labor Day weekend for Sarah's wedding the wedding is in Labor Day weekend oh no wait that's in November Oh, November. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you will. You'll be, yeah. you'll be fighting. All right, fighting so we'll, come, we'll be there. We'll be in November. Chicago in November. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So, uh, Mary, show the picture one more time. Okay. One final look at the tumor before and after. So you can see the in the cat. Tumor the before. There's his heart. And the bright spot. Tumor now. 
there's his heart. You can see how the brightness has changed. The brightness is uh, is what the what lights up. If anything in your body lights up bright like that, those are cancerous cells. So the brightness has gone down. The tumor size has gone down. Um, hopefully it'll go away from my heart and hope it's not connected in any way or, or form. But the surgery is open chest. It is, like you said, a very invasive surgery. So I'm really not excited about that. But what are you going to do? You feeling better? I'm a little better. I'm a little burny. I'm a little... It's kind of like I didn't throw up, but I'm still burning in my chest a little bit. Mm. We can go now. We can go home. Okay. We have a long drive. That's true. All right, guys. We live in the valley. And the valley, and not right now. We're in Westwood. Westwood to the valley is like 45 minutes. Right now, we're college kids. So, all right, baby. All right, let's go home. Say goodbye to the world. All right, world. Thanks for listening to our update. Hope you mm -hmm. enjoyed. Guys, later. Mm -hmm. More updates, maybe. Okay. Bye. <coughs>